my first instrument was the organ. Um, it's interesting, too, because a lot of the guys that play the greats, Jimmy Smith, Jimmy McGriff, Groove Holmes, any of them started on a piano. I started on the organ. But, I mean, technically, I started on a toy piano, so I don't really consider that because that's a little thing with two octaves on it. So and that's not a real instrument, but the first real instrument that I started on was an organ. And that was because we had one in the house. And uh, my dad plays. So all the recordings, all the great records, the jazz records, jazz organ, everything, and the instrument was there. So I was, as a little kid, already knowing a little bit about the keyboard because of the toy piano I had, I was naturally attracted to this massive instrument. As far as my formal education with music, um, that came much later. I, I was primarily self-taught with the guidance of my, my father. I mean, with my father also being an organist, um, he he showed me how to turn it on because turning on the Hammond organ is a little different. It's just not an on and off switch. And then, you know, you have the, the volume pedal. We also call that the expression pedal. And there's all the stops and things, draw bars, presets, all these things here. So how to set the organ up, how to turn it on and play it. And that's where it started for me. Because uh, I had already been tinkering a little on the toy piano. So once I got on this organ, I said, oh, okay, this, this sounds like, you know, the things I'm hearing on these records. So then I started trying to emulate what I was hearing Jimmy Smith play and things like that. And I was around four when this all started. And I could start playing some blues pretty pretty quick. And I pretty much taught myself that. Um, my dad was more of a weekend musician. So he worked during the day. He worked he worked for Amtrak, the railroad. And um, so when he would be at work in, in the daytime, I would be practicing, you know. So I'd practice every day until I learned the whole song. It was a sermon, Jimmy Smith a sermon. And he came home from work one day and I had it down, the solo, everything. And he said he couldn't believe, you know, was he hearing things, you know. So that's where it started, and I just uh, continued to do that. So from the time I was four, five, six, I kept, you know, doing that. And uh, I played completely by ear. Pretty much anything I heard, I could play. So I taught myself all these different songs and all these different things, and I learned how to improvise and so when I was around 10, I started going to um, Settlement Music School. It was a school in Philadelphia. And uh, I tried to uh, take legitimate piano lessons to learn classical music and learn how to read a little. But having that good ear, it just made me a little lazy in that way because everything was so easy. I'm like, why do I have to do this? You know, uh, I learned later on why that's important. But so... I kind of like faked it through all those years of lessons because I'd ask the teacher, how do you play this? How do you phrase this? How should you? And, and she would play it, and, I, and then I could play it, you know. So, But she got wise to me. And, and uh, But, you know, what really was great at that school was there was a, a jazz ensemble, and that's how... You know, I had to get to play with people that were closer to my age, that were had the interests that I did in the music that I did. But I played more piano then because they didn't have an organ at the school. So I had to play the piano, so I had to learn. You know, even though there's a keyboard on those instruments, they're different, you know. The organ, you could hold a chord forever and sustain it. And it's got a very light touch, so you have to be more sensitive to how you play it. And you're doing different things. You're playing bass lines, you know, it's a different concept piano you play more chords with your left hand than lines with your right hand so it's completely different so I learned how to play the piano during that time and um, but over those and, and then there were other teachers and things and um, but there was a teacher in Philly when I was around I'm from Philadelphia and when I was around 12 that I started going to name Gerald Price who was a great piano player who played with all the top musicians he's not really known but he played with all the guys and I started to learn how to read a little bit from him because of his approach you know he'd pick a song and 
you know. And then I started understanding the notes and the chords and things like that. And um, but my ear has always been my biggest thing to this day. I mean, I read better than I ever did. You know, I I kind of gotten. I'm a fair reader now. I wouldn't even say I was a good reader, but I can get through things a lot quicker a lot of times in the studio than the guys that can read because I could hear it and I could do it, you know. But um, I'd say I was um, primarily a self-taught street musician. My first paid gig, let's see. Well, actually, I played... I used to go sit in with my, my father's had a gig right up the street, so close to the house you could walk to it. And the very first time I played in a in a in a club, played some jazz, I was six and he took me with him and I went and sat in with the band and then it became a regular thing. They started really enjoying me coming and playing, so I remember every time I would play the guy at the bar would, would give me ten dollars in ones, so I thought I was rich. I had all this money. I could buy a lot of bubble gum, you know. <laughs> so I was around six when I started getting, you know. But my first official paid gig, I think I was eight years old. Somebody wanted me to play that same place. Somebody got married, and they had their wedding reception there, and they they hired me to play for them. So that was, I remember that was my first official, and I got $100, and I was like, Pfft. I had like, I bought a big uh, inner tube for the beach, and I remember I got a bike, and, you know, I went crazy. And um, my love for jazz, I mean, it's it started at a very young age, and it, and it just gets stronger every day. But it do, it's really for music. It's It's for all sorts of music. I mean... When I'm home or we're, you know, we're driving down the road, my wife and I, it's not always, it's not always jazz. It is a lot, um, but we listen to everything. I mean, and there's so many, there's so much great, I me. Mean, I like, you know, I always say, and I know a lot of people say it's, you know, the same cliche, there's two kinds of music, good and bad, you know. I mean, it could be country, it could be classical, it could be rock and roll, it could be R&B. It's good, it's good. Thank you. 